Good morning, IC Africa. I'm Nadine Ibrahim, and I'm going to do a quick plug-in into Murray Metcalf's talk this morning. So at the crossroads of sustainable infrastructure, entrepreneurship, and online engineering education in 21st century Africa, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we've leveraged online engineering education through online courseware development and the Global Classroom Experiment. It started off with a course that I teach at the University of Toronto called Infrastructure for Sustainable Cities. And we've taken this course from in-class to online. The course topics that are covered include some of the background information on sustainable cities, such as urbanization, sustainable urban design theories, and city performance metrics, and some other topics which are more sector specific, such as sustainable buildings, uh, sustainable transportation, uh, land use, waste, renewable energy, etc. And we've tested it at first with the African Leadership University students who took this course in the spring of 2017 for us to really test the technology and to test their appetite in an online learning environment. And the feedback was great. So we've embarked on producing this course online. And the course is called Sustainable Cities, Adding an African Perspective. And it's structured along four online modules that cover the background information on sustainable cities. We've experimented with a global classroom by having three universities in Africa take this course at the same time. The universities are the Covenant University in Nigeria, University of Johannesburg in South Africa, and the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, together with students at the University of Toronto through the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program. And the students were given an opportunity to all come together once a week for one hour to really discuss the contents of the course, but also bring in perspectives from their respective cities that they come from. So there was a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning happening through that environment. An e-textbook on sustainable cities is also produced as part of this activity. And also, a second part of this course, which we call Sustainable Cities, Integrating Case Studies from Africa, where our network of partners in Africa are contributing case studies that will be part of this course for, uh, for students in Africa and globally. To give you a sample of some of the suggested case studies, there's urban food security in Cape Town, or land use and low carbon energy, both in Lusaka and in Dar es Salaam, and non-motorized transportation in Johannesburg. The course can be found on the EdTech website at the University of Toronto's landing page, and I'll walk you through it. So let's go to edtech.engineering.utoronto.ca. That'll take us to the Education Technology Office at the University of Toronto, where we'll see the website of the uh, Education Technology Office, and on the top menu here, there are projects and project catalog. If we click on that, will take us to a listing of all the online courses available in engineering at the University of Toronto and scrolling all the way down we'll see our course Sustainable Cities Adding an African Perspective. So we'll click over here and that'll take us to the course information which shows that this course is made up of four modules and if we scroll a little bit down it shows here the project components. So the four modules are Introduction to Urbanization, Growth of World Cities, that's the first one. Concepts of Sustainable Cities and Communities, the second one. Principles of Sustainable Urban Design, that's the third one. And City Performance Indicators and Methods of Assessment, that's the fourth one. So let's take a look at one of them. I'll pick the first one, Introduction to Urbanization, Growth of World Cities. If we click on Read More, That'll take us to information about that module with an introduction to the module. And this is how we can explore this module by clicking on this black button, view this module. Once we're in, this is now uh, the course. And this is showing module one, introduction to urbanization, growth of world cities. So we can click on start course. And so the course, reads like a website. We can just keep scrolling down. And then when we reach the bottom, down here, you scroll further down, and so on and so forth. Just scrolling down like a website. You'll notice that the more we scroll down, on the left here is sort of a contents uh, list of this module. And it shows the green circles filling up the more we complete these items. And it starts off with welcome to module one, learning outcomes, 
and then uh, lectures. So this lecture is about the origin of cities. This lecture is about population projections. This one here is demands on infrastructure. And then it jumps to examples from global cities and examples from African cities. Every module also has a module summary and then a quiz, a multiple choice, and it's five questions, and then a discussion point. All the references and images and sources of information can be found under references. So that's pretty much how this module flows, and it's the same way in all uh, four modules. So let's start at the very beginning. Welcome to module one. And they're all structured as little videos, um, voice over PowerPoint slides for the most part with a little bit of animation. And then you can go straight to the lectures. In this case, the first one is called The Origin of Cities. And uh, I'm going to play just to show you an example. Our focus is on cities, so it's a good idea to trace cities back to their origins to learn how they came to being and to understand why they are the way they are today. Though today we make a clear distinction between urban and rural geographies. And I'm going to stop right here just to give you a sense of the kind of animation that is built around the PowerPoint slides. So um, you are welcome to visit that website and scroll through the steps that I just showed you to access the course and all four modules. Thank you.